I just thought I'd bring you over and show you the start. Well, it's sort of the start of a dam, but it's more just working out where we would like another dam. So Justin just got in and done that with the tractor. And then this also leads down to one of the swales. I'll show you. Leads down to this swale here. It's the one that was collecting a lot of water last night. Still, like the ground is so, so damp still. It's great. We ended up, I think it was 23, 23 mils. 20, oh, nearly 24. Look, there's even still a bit of a puddle. Looks so good. And you can see, I don't know if you'll better see it on the camera, but where the water's been captured in here, and then Justin's put the plants along the, that part, and then it's a bit greener around there. And that's just the water just seeping in, helping to hold the water on the land. Have a look at this. I said about how the ground underneath all the Karkala was probably really good quality. And have a look what I found when I was digging them up. Just about to pull this one up. Look at that. And it's like this mushroom mycelium, I think. Something like that. Isn't that amazing?
one of the spots where there's quite a few succulents that are growing. Uh, they get the beautiful red flowers on them and the birds love them. So I'm going to grab a few cuttings off those and put them all around the Illawarra tree um, because that one, it doesn't like the hot sun and we are in Victoria so we get some super hot sun um, but apparently if it doesn't, if it's got hot sun just on the leaves or just on the ground then that's okay so I thought I might put some of these guys around the Illawarra tree so that then it, at least the the roots won't get too hot and they can hopefully survive the summer. Look at those. It'll look great too. Because the Illawarra flame tree gets the amazing bright red flowers on it. thought that might be a good one to have around it as well. One of the best things about the succulents is they just seem to just grow really well. So this one here, I'm going to cut it here so that then that bit can be plant and then that one there can be one. Well, I got these carcala or pig face. You can see the flower there. I think I damaged it a bit when I put it in the wheelbarrow. But this one's a smaller one. I'm going to try one of these. I've Honestly, I've never tried one of these ones. I'll just try a little one. Mm. It's weird. It kind of leaves like a, almost like, oh, no, it's only just for a second though. It's, like a, it's almost like a bit of a flowery feel in your mouth. It's actually really yum. I probably should be washing my hands before I eat, but. So see that one there, been broken and actually ripped a bit for the, from the wind. Um, so yeah, that would be susceptible to getting diseases and stuff. So I'm just gonna try, I'm, not, I'm really nervous. I don't wanna hurt the tree. I don't wanna damage it. I'll go from this angle. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think there was another one yeah here. You see that? This one here. I'll show you how I do it. I almost forget. That one, yeah, it's not a calibration. No. <laughs> oh, which one is it? Um, open settings, close settings, timer, 546. 546. There we go. So I'll just check the open settings. Open settings. Timer. Seven o'clock. 
opens at 7. Oh, actually, I might change it. Yeah, 7 11. I'm just going to change that to 7 11. I don't actually know if you can see that on there, but it's pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it all, it's pretty easy. There we go. I've set it all, and now it's just doing a thing where it's to test it, saying the door will now fully open. This is what it does in the morning, so, so I don't have to get out of bed when it's school holidays or the weekends too. There we go. I put that bucket on the other side around where I've attached a gutter. So then that fills up, when it does rain, it fills up and I can just use this to help top up the water. So I don't have to go down and get a watering can or anything. It works really well. timing it's just started raining so I do still have the fence to do but I might just come back uh, I'll see what see if there's gonna be any more rain but I might just come and do it tomorrow so because the coop is fully secure I don't actually have to stress too much about the fence we don't turn it on anymore anyway we had a few kangaroos go through it and it's broken it in so many places that we just haven't fixed it so yeah I don't know, I'll see how I go.